Chapter 3, Introduction. This chapter discusses the laws of a shomer, plural, shomrim, which means watchman or custodian. This is a person who is responsible to watch and take care of property that belongs to someone else. The property entrusted to his care is called a pikadon, deposited item. The four shomrim, the Torah and Exodus chapter 22, verses 6 through 14, refers to defro, de, several different shomrim. Based on those verses, Mishnah in chapter 7, Mishnah 8, lists four types of shomrim, each with his own responsibilities and liabilities. One, shomer chinam, an unpaid shomer, who watches the property of another for free. He must watch and take care of the item he was given, as must every shomer, and may not use it for his own purposes. However, if the item is stolen or lost, he does not have to pay the owner unless this was caused by his negligence which is called Peshia. Number two, Shomer Shahar, a paid Shomer, who is paid to watch someone's property. Because he is paid, he must watch the item more carefully than an unpaid Shomer. He is responsible even for loss that did not result from his negligence. Nevertheless, he is not required to pay if the loss resulted from an accident that he could not have prevented. Ones. Number three is a Shoher, a renter, who pays to use another person's property. Tanaim disagree whether his liability is like that of an unpaid shomer or of a paid shomer. See chapter 7, Mishnah 8, and the Gemara at 93a. And last is Shoel, a borrower, who may use another person's property without paying for it. A borrower has the highest degree of responsibility. He must pay even for loss caused by an unpreventable accident. However, he is not liable for damage that was caused by using an object for the purpose of for which he borrowed it. See the Gemara on 96b and 97a. The Shomer's Oath. When a Shomer claims that he does not have to pay, for example, an unpaid Shomer says that the item was stolen, but he cannot prove it, the Torah requires him to swear that his claim is true and that the item is not in his possession. In addition, he must swear that he was not negligent and that he had not used the item for his own purposes without permission. See the Gemara on 6a. If he had used the item without permission, he is considered a thief. Like any thief, he is liable even for loss caused by an unavoidable accident. See Chapter 3, Mishnah 9.